Hey up everyone, Retro Rewind here and you are here for a VR and yes I'm sat on my floor on my landing. The reason is because I've been tagged by Retro Red Steve in the movie genre, favourite favorite movie genre, I think that's the title of it, I think it was that, I think it's that, your favourite movie genre, you had to talk about it, if you're a movie fan like myself, a bit breezy on this landing, I'll tell you that. That's why I've got my hoodie on, So I'm on the landing. Um, behind me, I've got the... Because obviously, it's short, so I've had to open the cupboard doors. Um, I've got all my DVDs. What I'll do is I'll, I'll grab the camera and pan it. I have done a video on my DVD Blu-ray 4K collection, which is behind me. And in the corner is a tiny little section of my missus DVDs. I'm trying to... Get to put in her office behind here. Um, yeah, so Steve tagged me in it. I've seen uh, Rogers and Steve's. And I don't think I've seen anyone else's. But I thought, do you know what? I've been trying to get round to doing this for ages. There's a few I've missed. The reason I've got time to do it and I can sit on the landing and do it is it's school holiday. I've got to work. The missus has took the little one to Great Yarmouth for the week. So I thought, perfect time, I could sit on the landing, I could talk loud, I don't got to worry about waking the little one up or have a diving on me and uh, jumping into the video. Um, so yeah, so uh, yeah, time to talk about it. So, I'm not going to keep saying so. Rogers, I was watching through it and I really enjoyed his, he likes to talk, doesn't he, as a monster and just... I liked his video. I liked the genre he picked because he picked the, was it the romance one? Is it romance? I think it's rom something romance. And I can get him on that one. I can get with him on that one. I love a romantic film. You know, there's many of romantic films that, you know, he's ghosts a romantic film. I like ghosts. Dirty Dancing, is that a classic romantic film? It's a dancing film. I like that. And Footloose, is that a romantic film? I like that. It's one of my favourite films. Um, so I can, I can, I can get in line with that, with him. And then Steve, I believe, chose Action Adventure, I believe, or Action Action Adventure. I think Action Adventure is normally when you go on the TV and um, streaming services, it's Action Adventure normally. Um, it's a hard one. It's a hard one to pick. Um, your favourite genre. Growing up, 80s and 90s, I think... I think we had the best. We had the best for gaming. 80s and 90s, the best for gaming... We had the best of TV series. Um, we had the best adverts. We had the best movies. I mean, eighties and nineties. We just were so lucky. We just had the best of everything. Best music. We just the best of everything. You, you could put a line on that under that. Big full stop. We had the best of everything in the eighties and nineties. What a great time to grow up. We we're just so lucky to have everything, which was so good. In fact, it's so good. That today they're copying everything we got to see first round, uh, first time round, or here. Music, they're, they're regurgitating all the music we had, singing over the top of someone else's song with different lyrics. Movies, they're remaking all the movies. The TV series, they're remaking them all. They're changing the characters, uh, ch so changing it to different cities and other, but, but it's all the same. They're changing the movies or the remakes or rehashes. It's. <clears throat> We've seen it first time around. We've got the T-shirts, literally got the T-shirts to it all. And um, I'm a massive movie fan. Um, I have a, behind, behind here actually is the games room. I'm in the games room doorways, just just there, looking at all my games now. I would say I'm more of a movie fan over gaming. I love gaming, love collecting anything gaming. But if I have a choice at night time between watching a film or playing a game or playing some games, it's watching a film. I watch, I easy watch three or four movies a week. Or if I get onto a box set of a TV series or something like that. It's, um, I bought a drink this time. So if I go dry and throw. Um, I just love movies. And I, oh, I watch the hell out of 80s and 90s. I do. And then sometimes I even pop in the games room and watch a VHS tape. In fact, tonight I'm filming this on Back to the Future Day. Obviously, October 21st, 2015. So I am going to watch Back to the Future 2. I am going to watch it on an original VHS tape because I've noticed it has four minutes more than uh, 
some of the other VHS tapes and DVDs I've got. So I'm going to watch the first ever one of the copies I've got. I've got many box sets of um, uh, Back to the Future on VHS and obviously Blu-ray, DVD and 4K. So I'm really, you know, getting into this video. I'm five minutes in and I'm not even said what the genre is. I think the idea is to talk about a few movies, mention a few movies. So what I should do is now is probably pick up my camera and maybe show maybe show i tell you what i'm gonna pick this up now look we're gonna go for a walk so basically in my games room we're in the games room now look we're in the games room so there you are vhs so i have um an abundance of vhs tapes over in that far corner there back to the future in there i've actually got it here look ready to watch back to future 2 look at it slippy slippy cardboard one lot and it's absolutely mint it's like new so, yeah, I'm a massive fan, as you can see, the Back to the Future, all up there, look, there's all the VHS tapes I've got. So, uh, and obviously, there's my VHS machine with a big screen TV, but we're not in here for that. So that's all the movies in there. Come, come with me, come, come with me. Come, oh, he's up there, look, DeLorean, I keep meaning to show you that. I built that during lockdown to celebrate... Um, was it the 30th anniversary? No, it would be 35th anniversary. Is it the 25th anniversary? Get my dates. When was it? 1985. Five is 90. Is it 35th? 35th anniversary. I built that DeLorean. Um, it took me hours. And I got some cracking pictures of the dog. What I did, I bought second hand little clothes for her to make her look like Marty. And I made myself look like um, Doc. If I find, I'm going to find a picture and I'll, I'll put it on here. And I did it. I didn't tell my missus. And then I did it all. Took it, and then I got her to come out of her office because I was in lockdown work from She was working from home and I, I was homebound. And I showed her and she was like, I can't believe you did that. I bought night trainers, white ones, and coloured the, them in red. So it was the same. Oh, brilliant. So anyway, on back to the films. I think the heat's kicking in. I'm getting quite warm in this hoodie. This big, thick hoodie thing. Right, so films. We've got DVDs. We've got... One, two, three, four. I need to get another shelf there. Four, and then it goes five up to there to DVDs, and then it goes Blu rays. Sorry about the jiggery pokery with the camera. Then it goes Blu rays, Blu rays, and then it goes to, yeah, all the way through there, Blu rays. And then down here, we've got, and then it goes into 4K. And then underneath the bottom one, so if I move that there, the bottom one's all there all to do with TV. So I've done the TV at the bottom, 4Ks, Blu-rays, and then it goes all the way DVDs. And in this corner, look, to this little corner, this is my missus collection. Fifth Element, Eat, Pray, Love, and Harry Potter. I freaking hate Harry Potter. Star Wars ripoff. It's got Wonder Woman. Oh, whatever she's got. Yeah, Wonder Woman films. And then she's got the Big Bang Theory and then loads of... She's got all... She's got all the Big Bang Theories and then she's got all but the last series of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, which I bought used to buy her every Christmas because she loves Fresh Prince. And who, who, can't blame, who can blame her? I love it too. So let's talk about my favourite genre. We'll go through it. We'll have a look. Well, let's go together. So I've got to say... Sorry about shaking the camera. My collection is quite broad, is the word I want to use. It's it's really all over the place. Like the films like, like the first film on there, 300. Went to see that with my dad at the cinema. We are Sparta. See, that's classes, what, action? Love it. And then right next to you, you got Airheads. You got uh, All About Moves, Ace Ventura, so comedies, uh, American Pies. Brilliant. American Psycho, one of my Favourite films, horror. I'm not the biggest horror fan. I think your class, American Psychos are. I read the book after I saw the movie. Oh my God. If they made, if they tried to make the movie the same as the book, it wouldn't have got past it. I'm thinking, it was, oh, it's gruesome. Gruesome. So, going along, you'll see a bit of a a trend. A very 80s, try not to get too, too close. 80s and 90s. Um, so, we've got films like Best of the Best. What a film. I watch that easy, I don't know, four or five times a year. I can love that film. Great action film. One of the best out there. And then we've got a couple of comedies. We've got like Big, Big Daddy. And then we've got Blade, Bill and Ted. Um, Big Trouble in Little Chinatown. So there's a good mix of 80s and 90s comedy. 
like blood sport. Blood sport, and you look. You got blood sport. I recently picked this up. I always thought I had it. I recently just picked this up last week. Um, I thought I had it, but I didn't. I had it on. I've got it on VHS, and I've got it on like a. I've got a folder full of pirate. Um, say pirate. You know when you burn, you do see burner films of this. I've got loads of them, and that's what I thought. I I thought I had it, but I didn't. I had um, the uh, disc. One of the things I did remember is before I moved here to this house, in my old house, I had lots of DVDs, I had loads of DVDs, box sets and stuff, and I sold them, I sold loads on, uh, and loads of rare Lego to fund um, just bills and going on holiday and stuff, so I kind of regret selling a lot of my DVDs, so that's why, obviously, I should have bought the big tripod and stood it on top instead of holding this, because I'm now going to be... Holding this all the time. Anyway, so yeah, moving along. Should I do this? I don't know. Can I can I put my can I put the put the older down here a minute? See if I can just Oh there we go. It's in the window ledge. Talk about the window. One problem was, because this is on the landing, there's a window there, and I keep trying to tell myself to put some UV protection on, and years later, I finally got round to doing it, but a bit late. Some of these have been sun damage like fight club the side cardboard sleeve is very sun damaged so not very happy about that but it is what it is i've still got the movie fight club fantastic movie so going through i'm gonna go through the top shelf a bit about genres obviously this is it i got like butterfly effect fantastic movie breakfast club we've got boys in the hood is that classed as an action adventure i don't think so what would you class that as it's, um, I don't know, it's gangster, but it's it's got like a, I don't know, it's home. It's good, one of my favourite films. It's funny because like, I'll, I'll say that to like, most films, it's one of my favourite films. I just love movies, I'm passionate about films, always try to go to the cinema. Uh, one of my downsides was when collecting DVDs, I used to buy them straight away. As soon as they come out, buy them at full price. What an idiot, I now like... I've been trying to pick up a lot of 80s and 90s films I don't own um, via charity shops, eBay and CEX. So trying to get them a bit cheap. So yeah, Bloodsport though, that holds around about eight to 10 pounds still. It still holds that price. Uh, honestly, it's quite shocking. Another film I recently picked up was, um, try to think where it is up here now. Begins with C, I know it does. Cobra, I know Steve was showing his Cobra off. I thought I had it, I had it on copy. So I picked that and Bloodsport up last week. So, oh, what a movie. If you haven't seen that, like Steve said, you've got to see it. It's fantastic. Um, Castaway, love Castaway. We've got Cable Guy, I love Cable Guy. And yes, like I said, um, actually, I'll pull these two out together, actually. Massive fan, massive fan. Dude. Found that in my mum's uh, collection when I was clearing out the house and I was like, do you know what? I'm having that and the music CD. So, yep, yeah, Demolition Man. I've just um, pre ordered that for coming out near Christmas on 4K. So, I was like, special box set. I thought, I'm having that. Um, I've been trying to pick up. Oh, Dog Soldiers. Great film. Another horror. Great film. Um, Michael J. Fox movies. I've been trying to pick up a few of his. So, like, Doc Hollywood. I've got. Um, Oh, what else have we just picked up for me? It's, oh, Bright Lights, Big City. So I've been trying to pick up a few of um, Barney McFly. Um, his movies, shall I say, Mike, Michael J. Fox. And he said Michael Jordan then. So, yeah, so I don't want this video to go on too long because I could talk about everything on it. I've, yeah, I've got martial arts films. I've got um, Falling Down, Evolution, Enter the Dragon. I've got Fast and Furious films up to seven. The first, The first two were pretty good i enjoyed them the rest kind of just started going down downhill and i haven't bought any more after that and i don't think i will but it is, it is a classic uh a fun one to watch fast time fast times it um ridgemore hi great film um i got i'll tell you what this is this is one i don't hear much about which is a fantastic film flatliners if you haven't seen that it's really cool it's got it's, it's a bit trippy in that and it's a very good film it's got oh, the casting it's amazing Kiva Sutherland, Julie, Julie Roberts, Kevin Bacon it's got a solid cast in it right next to it we've got Footloose obviously and 
for its gum. Um, I tell you what, I'm a sucker for as well. Anything. I'm not a massive fan of American football as a sport, but movies. Oh, movies. Yeah. What, what's another one? Uh, Varsity Blues, which I do own. It's further down, I think. Varsity Blues, great for so any um, American football movie. I pretty much love to own because I, I think they, I think they make a good film because I think um, a lot of them are based on true stories. So I really, really enjoy watching them. Um, Hard Target. Gone in six seconds. Obviously, one of my favourite movies. I keep saying one of my favourite movies. I watched the hell out of this. Gladiator. Fantastic boxing movie. If you've never seen this, this is a fantastic boxing film from the 90s. Oh, I've got it on a um, X-Rental uh, big box VHS because I bought it from my local video store back when I was 15. I paid a fiver for it and it's fantastic. What a movie. Great. I've got a great sentimental value to this movie because me and my mate Andy Arden used to watch it all the time who um, no longer is with us. So um, I've got a good connection with that because we used to watch it all the time. We used to rent it out all the time. And that's how I ended up buying it in the end. Um, i try to think. Well, anything else? Um, I've got lots of lots of comedies in here. I'm a massive comedy fan. 80s comedy is pretty cool in the 90s. Um, the newer ones like Hot Tub Time Machine and Part 1 and Part 2, very good films. We've got the Indiana Jones box set, which I found for three quid at a charity shop a couple of months ago. So, massive fan of that. I, I don't want to, I've done a DVD tour already, so I don't want this video to be too long about touring, but I just wanted to get across, like, you know, what I'm into, like License to Drive, Corey Ain film. So, I'm, I'm a massive Corey fan, Corey Ain, Corey um, Feldman. I've got a few of their films, and they're quite expensive, some of them, to pick up, actually, on DVD. Um, but I really like their films. They're pretty cool. Um, obviously, The Lost Boys, Lord of the Rings. I've got the Karate Kid trilogy on pretty much everything. My Cousin Billy, Vinny. Now, this is a great comedy. If any, anyone's not heard of that, Joe Pesky, fantastic. Very, excuse me, very funny film. Um, yeah, it's it's definitely definitely worthwhile watching. It's got um, Daniel Russo in it. Daniel Russo's got a fight. Um, obviously that's not his real name, is it? Um, so oh, I got big into these uh, martial arts films. Uh, Tony Jaw. So on bank. So I got a few of uh, on bank. Got a few of them. He's fucking elbowing man. So yeah, if you're not if you're not watched them, you need to jump on them. Old school, right next to it. Fantastic. And then we've got things like. I, I, I could be here all day. I could be here all day. You got films like this. Over the top. Oh, wrestling film. Oh, what a soundtrack. What a great film. I actually recently picked it up on. Um, what did I pick it up on? CD. Music on CD. So yeah, uh, I'm going to show some of my favourite films down below actually because you'll you'll see them in there. Um, I got like Rad, the BMX film, the BMX film. Great film, got that. Pretty in Pink. I've got films that are Pretty in Pink. John Hughes, a massive John Hughes fan. So I've got a lot of John Hughes movies. Um, I've got some early um, Brandon Lee ones, like Rapid Fire and stuff like that. Uh, Running Man. Got even Running Man. I'm trying to think what else really, in it? Starship Troopers. Oh, Set Elmo's Fire. So you can see a good mix of what I'm into. I've got, obviously, the Star Wars trilogy, Superman. Um, come a bit lower with me. Come down here. Come down here. Let's get low. Let's get low. Right, so let's tilt the camera up so we can see me. We'll have a little drinky. So this technically was full of books. It was my missus had books and I had DVDs on top. So I kind of kept kicking the books out. In the end, we had a bit of a saw through in her office and she's got some shelving in there. Get rid of the books. I want more films in. So we drop down to the rest of the DVDs. I've got a mix of films like one of the classics out there tremors now this film this film i keep saying one of my favorites this is awesome one film i i, I keep watching all the time I, I do it's one of the films i actually wouldn't mind um getting on 4k or blu-ray or whatever white man can't jump classic roger rabbit now this is a movie this is a movie warriors you gotta have your warriors haven't you I keep trying to pick them up on the vhs Miss it a couple of times going cheap. It's a bit pricey. Now, this is a good... I like... i tell you what I do like. True story movies. Like I pointed out with the um, uh, American football movies. A running one. 
pre. So this is about a, an American runner. Um, obviously he was in the Olympics and all that. Really good, really good inspirational thought. That's what I'm looking for. With the word inspiration. I love inspirational movies. Uh, talking about inspirational movies. Where is it? Oh fucking hell! What's it called? I watch it all the time. It begins at I. Invincible. Fucking hell! It's all the way up there now, isn't it? Oh H H. H. Trying to find where I am. Oh, here we go. Excuse me, getting out of camera. Another American football movie. Uh, Mark Wahlberg. Obviously, not the best actor in the world, but, you know, he does all right. Another American football film based on a true story. If you've not seen it, this film gets me pumped. I watch this film. It really inspires me. I'm talking about pumped. I've got pumping iron. I'll sneeze there. Oh. <sighs> Keeping that in, not letting it out. We're real here. So, go a bit lower. Should I go lower? Right. We're going to get to a point, I'm going to answer the question of my genres, but I really want to point out that how much of a movie fan I am and the mix of movies I got. It's like I've got Tron there, uh, 80s movie, and then we're going to the X-Men and stuff like that. Um, and I've got Blu-rays. Blu-rays, um, obviously, the big tin there is uh, obviously... You know, I'll pull it out. Back to the Future Trilogy, and it's really annoying. It's somehow got a massive scratch on it when um, when I was moving house, so I was a bit peed off of that. So in the Blu-rays, I've been trying to pick up some, uh, like, fi um, The Fighter, another movie that's based on a true story. That is fantastic. Fantastic. Um, I've got, like, Flight of the Navigators, um, Blade Runner, Bill and Ted's. Um... Obviously, Goonies. You can see a big box set there. I've got uh, Gremlins, um, Lost Boys, Pixels, No Street, No Surrender. Now, Van Damme's first uh, movie. Technically, his first movie he was ever in was Break Dancing. He's a guy in the uh, background dancing, doing his little wiggle. So, but that technically is his first starring role. And. See how oh, it's all four, all four, four we've got. Right, so yeah, Star Wars got all the Star Wars, got Team Wolf, got the Tron movies, got a load of X Men on Blu ray, and then I've got some. We've gone to the 4K, I've got a big box special. There you go, ET with a thermos, as they call it. Uh, Goonies, right, there's something about Goonies. So I've got 4K, I've got four. Three copies of that. Uh, this was a recent pickup. I had to get this. I'm red hot now in this. Check that bad boy out. Footloose, baby. I had to get it. Just love the cassette. Looks like a cassette mixtape. I had to get it for that reason. And standalone movie itself. Uh, I'll pick this up and show you this, actually. I got this off eBay. Full a box set. I'm going to get around to watching of Owner Fools and Horses. Because I'm a massive fan like anyone. Who pretty much watches my channel is going to be the same as me. Um, and then I've got down the bottom is his TV, TV stuff like Band of Brothers. I've got Bottom TV series. And then I've got like the kids stuff. I've got Dungeons and Dragons. I've got Mask. I've got um, Thundercats. And then I've got Gavin and Stacey in between his game on the Pacific. Um, yeah, Transformers. So, yeah, I've got, I've got loads. It's a... Uh, Cobra Kai, recent one. That's cool. So that... Oh, look what I've got. <coughs> got to have your 4K. Go ahead, kid. <coughs> Need a drink. Talking too much. Now, I throw it out there, one of my favourite movies. But this is my favourite. One of my favourites. And funny enough, it's still sealed. 4K. Because I keep forgetting I've got it on 4K. And, and, I, and I bloody stream it and uh keep forgetting i watched it the other the other month and then afterwards i was like fuck's sake i've got on 4k why don't i watch your 4k so yeah jaws massive jaws fam and um, right so let's get to the move let's get to talking about movies genre so you've seen what i've got you've seen my, my collection let's move back a bit it's heating on it's a bit warm a bit warm so yeah like Steve said, Izzy was action adventure. Roger said his was romance, whatever it was. Um, romantic comedies? Was it romantic comedies? Um, it will probably correct me. Sorry, not only me to uh, keep sniffing, I just sneezed, didn't I? 
Um, right, so genre. I would say, I'm with Steve. I would say action adventure is probably where I am with my favourite genre. Anything 80s based, you got like Cobra, Bloodsport, you got double uh, double you got like double impact. Actually that's not that's nineties, not eighties. But um as anything Van Damme, Steven Seagal, Dolph Lung Dolph Stallone, you got Swarty, like Commando, like excuse me, like I said, Command uh, Cobra. You got all them kind of movies. Uh best of the best. Oh. We're so lucky. Excuse me. Fantastic, fantastic. We we're just so lucky in the 80s and 90s with, with action adventure. Every, everyone was competing. Everyone was, like, pushing the boundary. Like, you had, obviously, you had Seagal, uh, Dolph Lundgren, Van Damme. Like, they were, like, the lesser stars. The B-stars, as I like to call them. They were pushing against each other. Then you had the likes of Stallone and Schwarzenegger, who were really trying to outdo each other. I'll tell you what, I ain't got a mood collection. Um, Beverly Hill Cops. There I'm trying to add up. There, then, there I'm gonna add into my collection soon. I keep thinking about trying to get them in. Maybe I might hold out for like a 4K for them because I really enjoy their films. Um, but like I said, yeah, 89, there was a real push. So everyone was trying to outdo like, each other. The biggest explosions and the more kills in a film and stuff like that. So it really for them battling to be the number one pinup guy and like Bruce Willis Die Hard movies. They're pretty good. Lethal Weapon movies. Yeah, I've got some of them. Fantastic. It, they're the kind... They're the kind of, I think I've got a bag of DVDs somewhere else I need to put back into it because I'm sure I've got Lethal Weapon collection in there somewhere because I know it's not there. I've got a bag that I've brought back from my mum and dad's and I, I keep meaning to find them, actually, and put them in there because I know there's a few in there. So, like I said, so, yeah, action adventure. It's just awesome. But then I'm a massive fan of comedies and stuff like that, like... Cheesy American Pie, I love that. Then you got to think about the older comedies. Um, well, it's like the old, you got Cable Guy, Ace Ventura, anything Jim Carrey does, golden. Loved all the Jim Carrey movies, very funny. Um, Tom Hanks, young Tom Hanks, like Big, Money Pit, um, they were fantastically funny. And um, like, obviously, Michael J. Fox as well, some great comedies he's done as well. I love Team Wolf, Team Wolf's fantastic. Um, Team Wolf 2. Not so good. Yeah, Jason, is it Jason Bateman? You know, he's a good, he's solid actor. He's got better with age, I would say. But those kind of movies, just, yeah, dance movies. I love dancing movies, like Footloose, Dirty Dancing. Yeah, I can't help but love him. 80s, 90s. Yeah, I kind of will it on nearly half an hour now, so sorry about that. So the answer to the question is, it's got to be action and adventure. I think he just... It blows it all out there. But I will watch pretty much any film. I'll give any film a chance, pretty much. Um, I'll normally look at IMDb, and if it's below a six in rating, I don't tend to watch it, because it's a, it's a really, I've done that before, and i watched it, and it's been awful. And I'm like, yeah, I can see why it's below a six. But yeah, a massive, massive movie fan. I, I love movies. I, I would spend a lot more money on the facts like games to get owning more physical copies. My miss is like, please stop buying... VHS and DVDs, we're running out of space. But there's so much that's not on Netflix or whatever streaming channels, bloody Amazon, is it Prime and bloody Disney? And there's so many that across, you can't find any. And when you do, they're heavily edited and just don't make sense when you're watching them. So it's why I'm quite passionate about pulling all this physical media and putting it in here. So and trying to really pick out those choice movies now from a collection, like key 80s and 90s action adventures, like I said, rom-coms. That I'm just trying to... John Hughes movies, that's one thing I'm really... I feel about going down the line of finding all John Hughes movies uh, on VHS. That's a little subset I was thinking of doing, getting quite a few of those in. Because, like, you know, why wouldn't you? Bueller's Day Off. Oh, what a movie. What a movie. Holy Lane, what a movie. St. Elmo's Fire. There's so many. Uh, Breakfast Club. So, yeah, so let's end, end this video now. I've got to half an hour of me whittling on about my collection, 
when in fact I could have answered the question in the first two minutes going, my answer is action adventure. But I needed to take you on that ride, didn't I? Show you what I got, show you I've got, I'm a, I'm a massive passionate movie fan and I have a mixture of films in there. And I, w I could sit here and talk all day long about movies with you. I really could, I'm just a huge fan. So I even go to the cinema on my own. If I say to Mrs, oh, there's a film on, do you want to watch it? She's like, no, I do. I'll go on my own. I've got my mates. Sometimes I'll, I'll look on my phone and go, oh, there's a movie on. I wouldn't mind seeing that. And just get in the car and go to the cinema. I know it's sad, but if I want to see a movie that bad, I will go. So on that note, thank you. If you've made it to 30 minutes, I do appreciate you sticking by. Thank you very much to Steve uh, for voting voting for me. Uh, nominating me to do this video thank you very much uh, it's great to watch steve's video and uh, roger's so please check them out uh, i'll put a link below for those two because they're the two i've watched and on that note thank you thank you very much and um i'm sorry i bored you for 30 minutes but i get, I get very passionate about talking about movies so thank you very much i hope everyone's having a good time looking after yourselves staying staying healthy and all that or as uh, go to says staying sexy and all that I hope everyone's good. Um, take care, everyone, and I will see you on um, whatever video you choose to watch my next. Take care. See you later.